Here we have a patient that presented with altered mental status in the clinical setting of known infectious endocarditis. On imaging, we see scattered foci of flare signal abnormality that correspond to restricted diffusion in both cerebral hemispheres, as well as the right cerebellar hemisphere, consistent with acute infarctions. Ring enhancement of these lesions was additionally seen, which although could be on the basis of subacute infarction, was also in keeping with septic emboli and developing abscesses with a known history of infectious endocarditis. The largest lesion in the left frontal lobe also demonstrated a T2 hypointense rim, further supportive of abscess formation. Cerebral abscesses, in general, undergo an evolution with corresponding imaging findings from early cerebritis with patchy abnormal signal enhancement to late cerebritis, where a hypointense and irregularly enhancing rim begins to take shape, early capsule formation with a well-defined enhancing rim, and the late capsule stage with decreasing edema and mass effect. Classically, the capsule is thinnest on the ventricular side, which may lead to interventricular rupture and ventriculitis, which carries a high mortality rate.